Watch you guys, if you're looking to remove any sort of uh, bloatware from Windows 10 when you first install it, like apps and stuff like that, then this video is for you. You can use this method for any version of Windows 10 and also any build, i.e. creators update and stuff like that. So let's take a look at where they are. If you go to the start and the settings button here and go to apps, when you go in here and look at apps and features, inside here you'll have a list of apps that you may not want. Now some of these can be uninstalled manually, but there is ones inside here like Xbox that you can't uninstall, okay? So when you click on these here, you'll get a, a grayed out uninstall feature which won't allow you to use it. So you'll have to use the remove command inside PowerShell to remove these, okay, from your build. So if you don't use it, then you may want to just uh, use the command to uh, remove it from your system altogether. Now there's known uh, bloatware in here which Microsoft put in and uh, you can use scripts like these ones uh, to remove them in one fell swoop. The problem with that is there may be stuff in here that you don't understand and you may not want to remove. And if you go ahead and run this, what's going to happen is going to remove areas that you might want to keep like uh, Skype, uh, you know, Windows Recorder, things like that. Now the best way to do it is one by one and I've got a list of uh, apps which we can remove here and I've removed already a lot of these but I'll just show you an e example here. You can see the remove app package command on the end there. You need to copy the whole command and you could just pick and choose whatever you like here. So for instance if you wanted to say uh, remove Bing News you would just copy the whole thing like this, open up a PowerShell uh, window, right click on the start button click PowerShell with admin rights and this will then open up a little prompt window go into here and paste it inside here okay and what this is going to do is then remove that from your system now once you push enter you should see uh, a bit of code coming up at the top and this will then remove it so just push the enter key here and that will then be gone and you could just work your way through the list and remove whatever you want Candy Crush no matter what you want to remove, you can remove it this way. Now, obviously, some of these you can use the uninstaller, but some of them don't have an uninstaller like uh, Xbox, so you will have to use uh, this command to remove them. So then all you do is just continue on one by one. Now, the reason why I like doing it this way is because uh, it gives you more control over what you want to uninstall, whereas the script will just remove everything, and you then may find that you've uninstalled something that you want, and it can be a bit of a pain, okay? So just bear that in mind. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you're looking at what you're removing, say, for instance, Skype app. I don't use Skype app. I use Skype itself because it's a better experience, and you can just remove whatever you want. Now, obviously, it's entirely up to you whatever you paste in here, but do remember this will remove it from your computer. And as you can see here, some of these uh, I will not use, like Windows Phone, uh, Bing Finance, all that stuff. I'm just going to remove it from here, okay? Anyway, that was just a quick video just to show you. Now, just go through these one by one and remove what you want, okay, and leave the rest alone. Now, if you do a search on the internet, you'll find other ones that it may be listed on your system as well. But I'll try and list them all here and put them in the video description for you. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your continued support. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, Click on the red subscribe button and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button and this will notify you when I upload new videos.